been busy. I had to take a break, but um, I'm now officially living in Arizona, and I had to take some time off of social media, making videos, whatever, because I was in San Diego, and it's just it's hard to get good content when you're in an area that's so congested with people, it's not really outdoor friendly. You gotta go 15 to 30 minutes down the road to find an archery range and then it's just, it's hard to do. So I'm finally in Arizona, I'll be able to do a lot more stuff outside. It's a little more uh, uh, free living out here. It's cool, I like it, I like the desert. It's hot, definitely, as you can see, I'll post some videos of me shooting earlier today, but I'm glad to be back, uh, hopefully, get some more gear reviews, get some more things in order, uh, better videos. Uh, basically, just I'm just glad to be back and actually be able to put up new content and stuff. So look forward to what this year holds. I'm gonna be hunting in a new area this year. It's uh, in the flats of the Sonoran Desert and on the uh, Arizona side. So. I'm not going to Mexico. I'm going to stay local. I'm probably only going to hunt maybe 10 days this year, but that's okay because i got to spend some family time. But uh, yeah, just stay tuned to the channel. I appreciate it if you guys have subscribed. If not, hit the like button and subscribe below, and I'll put the shooting videos up now. So this year I'm going to be hunting in the flats out in the desert. So I'm going to simulate some shots with very little bit of cover because it's only going to be like this out here with these small little, I think they call them Palo, Verde, Palo Verdes so this target right there is at 55 yards so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get right behind this bush give myself a small window send three shots and then uh, go check them after that stay tuned Pulled that one up a little bit. Let's go check them out. Muggy out of here, it actually rained this morning. It's still 105 degrees now. Look like they're a little low and right. Not a bad group with those two but that's pretty cool that the difference that makes when you tighten your window up to shoot and you're only shooting through a small hole and actually i was so tight into that bush that the branches were on the sight pin so i had to wait for the wind to lift it up but not bad for the first time out this year over 25 yards so that was it like i said 50 or 52 yards and two arrows touching one that's three inches low we'll keep going the other day we were talking about taking that uh, 75 yard shot if you had to so out here in the out west definitely going to be more inclined to take a longer shot not saying everybody's got to take 75 but um, 
So my air setup is the Easton 5mm full metal jacket, 340 spine, 28 inches long. They weigh about, I think it's 508, depending on uh, if I have a wrap on the fletchings or I'm using a 4-inch flushing. But with this one, I think it's about 508 grains. And a uh, big nasty snake. Oof. Anyway, let's go ahead and take this shot, and then we'll walk down there to the target and check it out. Couldn't get my mind off that snake crawling right there. I hit the target, so let's go check it out real quick. Keep my eye on that jugger, see where he went. Let's go check this out. Man, I do not like snakes, and I don't know much about the snakes in Arizona, but it has to look long. Five and a half feet, probably. The flies are ridiculous out here today. Hard to tell because my target's white and I'm using white fletchings. Not bad. Definitely would have got lungs. Can you see that in there? Yeah, you can see it. Cool. So, yeah, a little bit more patience and focus and not worrying about snakes, I definitely would take that 75 yard shot.